I'm Tony with Philpiece, and I'm going to help you find refrigerant leaks easier and faster by sharing a few helpful tips on how to effectively use an electronic refrigerant leak detector. Tip number one, power on your electronic leak detector and let it warm up in an environment where you know is free of refrigerant. This will allow the tool to set a baseline at zero so that it's ready to alert when it senses refrigerant. Tip number two, when you're looking for a leak, it's always best practice to start in locations where leaks are more likely to be found, like at a braze joint, a mechanical seal, or visual evidence of damaged tubing. Plus, it's always a good idea to start your search from the bottom up, as most refrigerants are heavier than air and will sink downward. Tip number three, regularly inspect the filter of your leak detector. Most leak detectors have a filter to protect the pump from sucking in moisture or dirt. And when that filter gets saturated or dirty, it affects the overall sensitivity of your tool. So when your filter shows evidence of moisture or dirt, just throw away the filter tip, grab a new one, screw it on, and your leak detector is ready to go. When working on an HVAC system, it's important to always have safety in mind and wear the proper PPE to protect yourself. Now, this leak detector I've already powered up and let it warm up in outside where there was no refrigerant present. I've checked the filter, all is good, and we're ready to, to look for a leak on this evaporator coil. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up at one of the more likely places where a leak could be found are at braze joints. And it's important not to move too fast. Typically, a good rule of thumb is maybe one to two inches per second so that you don't miss small leaks. So now I'm gonna start here and check out a couple mechanical seals starting with this TXV to make sure that we don't got any leaks down here. Looks good. Now I'm gonna make my way up to this equalization port and I get my first hit of refrigerant indicated by the LED tip. Now I'm gonna pull it away and bring it back in for a second pass to confirm. And unlike most leak detectors, the new field piece leak detectors have four ways to indicate increasing concentrations of refrigerant with a numerical value that increases and a bar graph as well. And a lighted LED tip, an audible beep that increase in intensity as I pinpoint the exact location of the leak. So the new leak detectors have four ways to help indicate not only the presence of a leak, but the exact location of where that leak is coming from. Now just to show how sensitive the new field piece leak detectors are at finding small leaks, I'm gonna spray our leak source here with soap bubbles. And now I'm gonna make sure I got soap bubbles underneath here. And as you can see, there are no soap bubbles because the leak is that small. But when I bring in my refrigerant leak detector, the new field piece infrared, I still pick up that there's a leak right here. And it can differentiate between not false triggering on soap bubbles all around versus the actual location of where the leak is. Well, I hope you found these tips useful. And to learn more about Philpiece's new refrigerant leak detectors, go to www.philpiece.com. And as always, stay tuned for more helpful videos.